Hello, once again, everyone. Kata Kosman, publisher of Madison's Lumber Reporter. We are based in Vancouver, BC, and since 1952 have been printing North America construction framing softwood lumber panel and prices uh, every Friday. I'm the third owner, and uh, currently we cover 500 individual softwood lumber and panel commodity prices. Uh, as well as the market commentary, which goes out to subscribers to the newsletter every Friday. So today I'm going to talk about um, U.S. housing starts for February and the comparison of that to the previous month, as well as the previous year. Sometimes people ask me, you know, why do you compare year over year? Well, I mean, first of all, there's quite a bit of volatility month to month and this is true of lumber prices as well but it's also uh, same month one year ago is a more uh, consistent comparison you know uh, housing is quite seasonal and there's a big difference between January and May so that's how we do that and let's quickly go to see the graphs and I'll show you um, some of those most recent changes now. And uh, when you look at the graph of the housing starts compared to my lumber prices, you can get an idea of what might be coming for U.S. housing in the next couple of months. Like I say, the uh, lumber prices are a good forward indicator of what uh, will be coming for housing. And the lumber prices come out every week for that week but the housing data comes out once a month for the previous month. So here is the graph that we do every month and this is for February. Uh, the total housing starts is the black line and single family or one unit starts is the gray line. And then the three colored lines are the lumber prices, 2019 to present. The total uh, housing starts in the US for February were up 6.8% to 1.77 million units from January, and we're up 22% from February of 2021. The single family, which we are most interested in uh, because that is the largest proportion of housing and is the uh, type that uses the most wood, they are up 5.7% to 1.22 million units from January and are up 12% from February of 2021. So now looking at lumber prices and the top three lines are the same commodities on the graph that you were just looking at for the benchmark item, Western Spruce Pine Fir Kiln Dried 2x4 number 2 and better, which is the benchmark as it's sold in the highest volume, has uh, after rising for the previous few weeks for the week of March 18th was flat at 1400 US per thousand board feet, um, which is up $118 or 9% from mid-February when it was $1,283 per thousand board feet, is up $360 or 35% from one year ago, March 2021, when it was $1,040, and is up $954 or 214% from March of 2020, when it was US $446 per thousand board feet, that would have been considered a normal price compared to historical trend. So now looking specifically at single family or one unit, uh, the black line is starts and the gray line is permits. And so for the permits, total uh, housing uh, construction permits for February was down 2% to 1.86 million that's from january and that's quite a high number even though it's down and um f is up 7.7 percent from one year ago february of 2021 for single family permits are down well they're basically flat it's down 0.5 of a percent to 1.21 million starts that's from january and again that's quite a high number and the single family permits are up five percent from february of 2021 uh, when it was 1.15 million permit uh, for authorized construction. And so here again is that important uh, Western Spruce Pine Fir 2x4 price. The pink line is 2019, the yellow line is 2020, and that crazy blue line is last year, 
You can see the purple line sort of reaching toward that incredible high of 1600, but I don't think it's going to make it up there. So some of the insight that we have doing our market survey every Thursday from the sources, which are the sawmills and the wholesalers, is that customers are hesitating to buy, wondering if prices are going to go down. The variety of price quotes are depending on the source, the product mix and delivery. The people who are waiting to buy are questioning themselves whether the price will go up or down. So even industry doesn't know, let alone, you know, watchers or analysts or retailers or contractors. The sawmills so far are not lowering their prices as order files remain quite strong. Don't forget that this is for the week of March 18th. And transportation delays are causing huge problems and uncertainty. Okay, and so very interesting, and uh, that's the current situation. What's going to happen for the rest of this year? I mean, who knows? There's so many sort of emergency situations once a year, things that are happening all over the continent. Uh, we can't possibly know. Uh, last year there was uh, wildfires all over, but definitely in British Columbia. We had a big drought here, unprecedented uh, amount of lack of rain which when the um, weather changed in the autumn, the water had nowhere to go because the ground was so dry and had been so dry. And it was a deluge in September and then again in November. And so the uh, water which had built up on this uh, dry packed ground during September and October came down as, as they were calling it an atmospheric river, which generally speaking comes down as snow but because we were having the um, weather systems coming in from South Pacific instead of from the North Atlantic, came in as rain and absolutely destroyed the highways and the railways. The railways are fixed, but the highways, um, they're just bridged. There's about 12 or 15 parts that were um, completely broken and it's gonna take a long time to fix that. So this is causing a a uh, big issue in delivery for the sawmills and um, making the uh, supply arrivals for the customers uh, really inconsistent and hard to plan for their business. So when the uh, construction companies and the home builders are expecting to make their uh, next um, quarter uh, business, the um, difficulty in having the supply of building materials on hand when you need it is making everything a little bit uh, harder to organize, not to mention that the prices keep going up. Uh, on the other side, the demand is just relentless. So some really interesting pieces that come out of the uh, construction data from the U.S. Census every month that doesn't necessarily get reported, but it's in there, it's in the um, basic data release, is uh, the backlog of units authorized but not yet started was at uh, 152,000 in February 2022, uh, which is very high. I mean, they're, they're calling it record highs. And um, in February 2022, there was 800,000 single family units under construction, which is up 22% from one year ago in February 2021. And there was 770,000 multifamily units under construction, which is up 15% from December of 2020. So this kind of activity doesn't stop and start in one month. The momentum from, you know, 2020 and 2021 is carrying forward into this year. And so the expectation is that this year is going to be quite similar to last year. 2022 will match 2021 in terms of uh, volume of material sold, in terms of construction activity. Where the, whether that will uh, be still strong at the end of this year into 2023, we still don't know that yet. We do know that there's a powerful underpinning of demand for housing as we have the millennial generation just at the beginning of the usual age to be first-time home buyer. 
So there's a good 15 years of uh, strong uh, home buying activity coming on just purely due to demographics. At the same time, you have, for the past 10 years, the U.S. has been underbuilt uh, based on um, population. And these uh, issues are colliding right now. Um, I should note that at the beginning of 2020, there were uh, quite a few, there were quite a few or several companies announcing the sawmills reopening. Sawmills that had been closed, you know, maybe since 2015, maybe since longer ago than that, uh, through at the beginning of 2020, through 2020, and continuing until now. It takes about 18 months to get a sawmill back online, uh, one that's been closed or mothballed. And so some of those uh, early announcements at the beginning of 2020 are starting to go into production now, which should help quite a bit, both with the uh, elevated prices and with the volume sales. It's frustrating. It's frustrating when prices are so high, but the sawmills uh, volume sales are not that good uh, due to these high prices and due to never ending transportation delays. Something that used to take six weeks to arrive is now six weeks plus two months and people don't know where their wood is on the highways or on the railway. So I'm just going to leave it there for now and um, do check my website madisonsreport.com look around and see uh, some of the stuff that we write about uh, subscribe if, if you're interested in the details subscribe here on YouTube to get these um, a notification of when I make a new video and click like so that other people will be offered to look at it as well.